Hi, this is Rich from WorkshopAddict.com. This is a SketchUp tutorial number seven. This is a, a project video where we're going to draw a little sample project, uh, something that uh, a steel fabricator might use since we did kind of a wood project the first one. We'll do something a little different here. We're just going to make a, a, a little uh, uh, motor bracket or something. Uh, we're going to make it out of quarter inch steel with a back and gusset and some slotted holes, kind of give you an idea how that uh, will work. So we'll go pick our rectangle tool, start here at our origin, start moving the direction we want. We're just going to type 6, 6. And now we've got a uh, 6 inch square. We'll go in and zoom in on that. And uh, I'm going to hit the space bar to hit select, right click it, and I'm going to make it a group. So it's now a group. Double click it so we're in the edit mode. You've got the box around the outside. You can see the dotted box it means we're in edit. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to pull 0.25. So we now have a 6 by 6 quarter inch thick plate. Um, I want to uh, I want to uh, work off center. It's always a good idea to work off center, just like anything else. So I'm going to drag a guide over here three inches. Oops, got a got the pencil tool instead of the guide. So T for tape, three inches, and one off the back, three inches. So if we measure that from that center point, you'll see there three inches, three inches three inches. We're perfectly centered. We're going to put our bolt holes on four inch centers. So if I come to this direction, put a guide, and to this direction, and to this direction, to this direction, we now have a four inch square that's, that's uh, centered off there. We don't need a ton of adjustments, so we're just going to make uh, one inch long slots. So if this is the center line we were working off, let's come back 0.5 this direction and 0.5 this direction. Now we've got a one inch slot um, center to center. Now the thing you need to make sure that you do is you can see this box around the outside of our plate. Uh, if you don't see it, like I just double clicked outside of it and it's gone, doesn't mean we're editing that group. So we need to double click that. We need to make sure we're editing that group because we're going to uh, have slots going through this plate. So we're actually editing the plate. So we need to double click it to get in the edit mode. We're going to zoom in on one of these uh, areas here and we're going to have a 3 8 slot which means we need to draw a circle with a 3 8 radius so we can either type in 0.1875 or we can type in 3 forward slash 16 so 3 16 is the radius that give us a uh, 3 8 uh, circle we can take this now and instead of redrawing it up here, which is almost just as quick, we're going to highlight it. We're going to put our cursor here on the intersection of these guides. And we're going to start moving that direction and hit the control key so it turns to copy. And uh, we're going to go up here and click. And we now have a copy of that circle one inch up. We're going to take our line tool and we're going to go down here we want to make sure, notice how um, this circle, the resolution isn't great on it. We really don't have it set up where it's high resolution, so there's actually ends to it. We want to make sure that we click on the intersection. Uh, otherwise, when we go to delete it, uh, we're going to end up uh, deleting a whole bunch of different segments. So we go from the intersection of that zoom out and go up here intersection of this now we're going to go up here to the top intersection of this one down to the intersection there 
So now, if we uh, if we take our eraser tool, yeah, we still got to delete segments. Get rid of our extra stuff here. There, looks like there's a little one up here left. Let's highlight this. Yeah, so we gotta gonna have to go in and get rid of uh, all these segments. I don't know if changing the sides of that circle would have helped that or not. Looks like we got one more there. So we we've got a 2D slot. What we want to do instead of redrawing that slot, if we highlight that, M for move, we're going to locate it off of the center. So we want to uh, start at the intersection of this guide, click down there, start to move, and I hit the uh, control key so it changed to copy. And I go up here and I'm going to place it based on that, that intersection there. Now I want to copy these two, M for move and hit control to change it to copy move across and I'm going to click on this intersection of these guides so now we've got uh, four two-dimensional slots by hitting the push pull tool we can push down either click on the bottom face here or as I mentioned earlier for me it's just easier to type 0.25 push down 0 0.25 0 0.25 I end up with a plate that's got two slots in it now let's get rid of our guides getting kind of busy here we want to uh, radius off these corners a little bit so they're not not so sharp so we're gonna take our tape measure tool and we're gonna come up here um, point well, let's make it uh, 0.5 and we're going to come off this side 0.5 so we now have two guides that are half inch off uh, off each side so we want to make sure we're in edit mode notice we got the box around it let's go uh, pick up our arc tool catch the intersection of this intersection of that and pull out. We either need to be on the face or tangent to an edge. Tangent to an edge would be perfect. You're coming tangent off that edge. Uh, you could have less of a arc if you wanted it by going uh, further back from that tangent point. But you can't go too far or notice the uh, the arc is outside of the available metal you know so we'd have to add metal to do that so we need to stay inside tangent would be ideal you need to watch it depending on your view you can also notice you could be pulling your arc straight up so you need to make sure at minimum you're on the face you're pulling that arc across the face or tangent to the edge which would be ideal for a radius corner and we're going to click there if we hit P for push, we can push that away. Okay, need to go to the other corner. And we already have one line there, so let's uh, create a half inch one in here. And we're going to go to our arc tool. And we're going to do this intersection, this intersection. And we're going to look for that, that uh, tangent point again. There it is, tangent to the edge. Click. P for push, push that away, 0.25. We now have two perfectly radiused, uh, radiused corners. Now, we uh, let's put a back on this, um, something we can bolt it to the uh, side of uh, something. Uh, this probably isn't the best designed, uh, engineered 
project in the world because the uh, if we get all the way to the back of our slot and we've got a say a three inch uh, or a three eighth inch slot and you got a nine sixteenths uh, head bolt in that three eighth slot with a uh, washer on it it's going to be getting awful close to the uh, to the back so so anyhow um, let's go ahead and put a plate on the back I'm going to come in here and pull a guide uh, quarter inch off the back and um, and I'm going to uh, create a well first of all I need to get out of edit mode because we don't want to edit this plate we're just going to be adding a uh, adding another plate to it like a uh, like if we were going to weld it um, weld it on there I guess we could have put a line on here I'll show you how we would do that we could have double click that went into edit mode here and drew a line across and we could have pulled just this one section down and we could have ended up with a say a bracket on the back but in this case we're not wanting to do that so we're going to uh, we're going to get out of edit mode and we're going to draw a rectangle and double click it make it make it a oops make it a group and we're going to pull it down and we want this bracket to come down uh, say four inches so we've now got a bracket coming down uh, four inches off the uh, that top plate that we'd made made slotted holes you can see right there what I was talking about my slots are awful close to the edge just uh, that would not uh, be ideal we've got a pretty big bolt pattern for that uh, for that smaller plate but uh, this is a drawing exercise and and uh, not my ability to uh, design a uh, motor plate although in my past life I've uh, done quite a few of those so let's uh, let's add some holes in this uh, back plate um, say we want to uh, be able to bolt this this new bracket to something so we're going to come in here and uh, let's come in 1.5 1 1.5 1 and up from the bottom um, and we'll just make it an inch make it easy same thing here one inch down so we've got uh, we've got our uh, guides there and we double click that and go into edit mode we're going to draw a circle here and we're going to make it uh, half inch um, we're going to use some bigger bolts on it so type in 0 0.25 same thing here 0 0.25 you know we can copy just as much if you as you want or redraw it depends uh, what's easier for you so we're gonna move that down here or make a copy of it move and then control key and then I'm gonna push it back 0 0.25 0.25 so now we've got uh, four holes in uh, in this plate we want to uh, we want to add a couple gussets to it we don't want our gusset to go all the way to the edge so we're gonna stay back a quarter inch here and uh, let's come up and look at the bottom of this um, if we draw start to pull from this edge a guide back we've got uh, you know we've got our uh, radius stop corner here so we want to stay back uh, about another uh, uh, quarter inch from that let's just make it uh, 0.75 so we've got a, a guide three three quarters of an inch back so now we're going to go in here and get out of edit mode and we're going to take our line tool and we're going to draw from 
from that guide to this corner out to this intersection and back. Now we have a triangle. Let's double click it, make it a group. We're going to pull that. Oops, hit the wrong tool. Pull it. Got to be in the push or in the edit mode. Quarter inch, 0.25. So we just created a gusset that's a uh, quarter inch thick. The uh, let's make a copy of that. So we're going to move that. Hit Control so it changes to copy. Come across here, and I'm going to click and position it in that corner. Got a zillion guides in there. Let's delete all our guides and uh, we're going to turn on the uh, material window and we're going to pick some steel. I'm going to click there and here and here and here. And now we have a uh, little motor bracket. Got some slots in it. Um, as I said, it's not, not ideal. I probably should have left my Self a little, little more room there, but, uh, but uh, you get the idea. So, anyhow, that's uh, that takes care of our second project. Hopefully, you'll uh, be able to uh, draw along with this. Uh, you know, stop the video and and uh, try it, and then go on to the next section and try it. And uh, if you got any questions, uh, post it here on the forum, and we'll be happy to answer.